for one thing, I want to say uh, that my that my heroes in the midst of all of this are are those essential workers, um, are our pharmacists, are our technicians, are our cashiers and delivery drivers. Um, wow, I have been blown away at just the selfless acts that they've been willing to do to try to continue to care in really just uncertain times. Okay, it's April 8th and we are with Spencer Hodges. He's the corporate pharmacy manager at Boone Drug Incorporated. Now Boone Drug has been serving our area for a hundred years, which is crazy to think about. Um, and it's kind of amazing you guys have been able to stick around through the influx of big box pharmacy stores uh, moving in. and not only have you survived, you've, you've expanded. I think most people don't even realize that you guys have 17 pharmacies in three states. Is that mm-hmm. right? So you are a busy man and you know a lot about uh, staying healthy. So that's why I wanted to get you on here. I know you guys are doing some neat things um, that I want people to know about. So um, my first question for you is just kind of around this um, question of the retail space and, and people, how do we keep people safe um, and feeling comfortable in these places that are still um, essential businesses. Um, are you guys doing anything on that front? Yeah, so actually, um, so all of our pharmacies, you know, we've implemented um, those recommendations that uh, CDC and, and other governing bodies are, are asking us to do. And so, um, and, and things that we see to be beneficial. So, um, for the first thing, the, the main things that we can offer to help people stay healthy um, is that home delivery, free home delivery in all of Watauga County. So uh, we will deliver your prescription. You don't even have to, to come to the pharmacy. And so, uh, but we also have um, in places where we don't have delivery, um, we have uh, what's called curbside service or some of our pharmacies have a drive through And so those are three ways that that we're encouraging our patients to to really um, take caution um, and to protect themselves uh, by utilizing those services that we have. And then uh, as far as inside of the store, uh, we have really strict um, employee um, like hygiene protocols in place. So as far as hand washing and cleaning of public areas, uh, and those are things that we're doing on the hour every hour. Uh, and then, you know, we, we have designated kind of that six foot social distancing areas within the pharmacy to try to help people know where they're at and know where they're at in relation to others um, so that they can protect themselves as well as other people. Gotcha. While we're on that topic, is there any other tips that you have or that you guys have just overall how to stay healthy. I mean, are you guys endorsing face masks or is there any kind of like go-to list that you guys are really trying to uh, push out there? Right, so that's a really great question. So one of the important things is that personal hygiene, so that hand washing component. That's one of the most important things that we can do is to wash your hand diligently and, and really be aware of the things that you're touching and be aware of, you know, are you touching your face? And if you do touch your face, have you washed your hands recently? And so that's really important and we want people to know that Um, as well as, um, you know, if you're going to the grocery store or you're coming out to the pharmacy, it's not a bad idea to to leave those shoes and things outside and wash those clothes that you're wearing uh, directly when you go in. And so based off something you just said, I had a question for you on the hand sanitizer topic. Mm -hmm. I understand you guys are going to start making some or distributing it or what's going on there. Yeah, so that's a that's a that's a great point. It's something that we're really excited about. So over the past few weeks, we have been compounding um, hand sanitizer, um, and and recent guidance came out from the FDA and USP on those on those hand sanitizer compounding and and really opening it up for pharmacies to do that and for and for even distillers to start making the alcohol um, to provide for people to to make the hand sanitizer. And so we've been providing that in small amounts to our patients. And so you come in to a Boone Drug Store, um, and that we, considering we have the necessary ingredients to make it, if you're looking for hand sanitizer, we don't have any. We're, we're more than willing to offer you um, some hand sanitizer made by our staff and our pharmacist. Um, but here recently, we were working with a, a vendor, and we kind of accrued some some larger ingre- larger amounts of ingredient. And so um, towards the end of this week. 
um, with the joint venture with Go Postal, the great people down at Go Postal, another local business, they have they have graciously um, made our labels for this hand sanitizer, and we're going to be putting it in the hands of uh, those emergency service providers, first responders, firefighters, police officers, nurses, and doctors. Um, there was a recent plea from the from the healthcare system here at App Regional that they had really been running low on hand sanitizer. So I've been working with their uh, pharmacy director over there and their leader of um, of their um, uh, products over there, products division. And so we're working with them to try to see how we can, you know, at least meet some of those needs that they have. Uh, and it's just our way of, of how do we give back? How do we give back to a community that has been um, gracious to us and, and so supportive? Uh, because we truly do care about those patients we serve. Gotcha. I have a few follow-up questions just about that. Um, so is hand sanitizer, I mean, does it really work? Is it all you need to kill the germs? I mean, Right. So hand washing, proper hand washing is by far the best way to, to get rid of germs off your hands. So and, at least, oh, go ahead. Well, and does that have to be antibacterial soap or can it just be any old soap you get from the, from the shelf? Right. Warm, warm water and just soap. Just recommendation is just soap. There, you know, not everybody can find antibacterial soap. So uh, it's not a bad thing to have that. And, you know, we have some healthcare grade soap that, you know, we're using for our staff. Um, but really just that 20 second at least hand wash, really lathering it up using warm water um, is something that's just gonna really physically debride the hands of, of kind of those germs and things that would attach. And then hand sanitizer is not a replacement for hand washing, but it's for those on the go moments where you're not next to a, a sink and, and can wash your hands. Um, but it needs to be a certain percentage of hand sanitizer. Um, and I think, uh, it's uh, we've seen a lot of people wanting to make their own and that's not inherently a bad thing but it is important to know that we got to get those ratios right uh, for not only the protection but also uh, to make sure that it's doing that proper disinfecting if people are feeling sick and they maybe have concerns like is this is this something the covid or whatever should they call you guys or what's your protocol in your opinion on how they should approach that Sure. Yeah. So right now, right uh, beginning of spring, so especially around the mountains, there's a lot of pollen going around. So there's this balance between, okay, am I experiencing symptoms of a virus or a cold or am I experiencing these allergy symptoms? So this is a great example of where you could call a pharmacist and you could kind of walk through with them what you're experiencing and they could kind of help you distinguish um, maybe whether you needed to be you know, further seen by a medical provider in an office or uh, via some sort of telehealth communication with a doctor. Um, because really the recommendation right now is if you don't have to go to a doctor or if you don't have to go to the ER, it's really best to call ahead and, and talk to somebody before kind of um, exposing you and others to those scenarios. Yeah. Okay, great. So last question I have for you is really something that I've been asking everybody, and it's around this idea of the silver linings that might be found in this difficult time or um, if you have any I, thoughts on that or, or things, what's giving you hope that we're going to come through this thing and, and maybe be better and stronger than we were before? Any thoughts there? Yeah. Wow. Um, well, for one thing, I want to say uh, that my that my heroes in the midst of all of this are, are those essential workers, um, are our pharmacists, are our technicians, are our cashiers and delivery drivers. Um, wow, I have been blown away at just the selfless acts that they've been willing to do to try to continue to care in really just uncertain times. Um, and it has been, it has been, you know, sleepless nights and really just sitting up worrying about what's the next step and how do we protect people. And, and Matt, I mean, our, our, as a company, our vision statement is, is really just, and our mission is we seek to honor God by providing our community with that pharmaceutical, that medical, nursing, and healthcare needs um, through a personal caring and professional service um, that we know that we can provide for them. And so um, for me personally, Matt, I think in the midst of what seems so uncertain at times and chaotic at times, this week specifically, um, I'm reminded of, of Easter, right? And the hope that we have there uh, and the hope that I have 
um, in the Lord and, and the sacrifice that, that Jesus Christ made for us um, and that all we have to do is, is follow him and trust in the truth of the gospel. Um, that's, that's the hope that I have uh, and the hope that I have in all the people that I'm working with. Um, from a young age, I was, I was raised by a nurse and a, and a self-employed dad. My mom was a nurse. My dad was self-employed. And they were two of the most selfless people I've ever met. Um, and, and right now, that's become even more evident um, in the life of, of people who are those essential workers, just really being selfless about the things that they're doing. So, so that's my hope. That's uh, that, we, that we protect ourselves, that we take care, that we follow directions from our government and our officials and the CDC. Uh, but we also lean in on each other, uh, lean in on the strengths of each other, um, and, and really... Uh, find our hope and uh, and what the Lord's done for us. So, well, that's great, Spencer. I appreciate you sharing. Um, thanks for taking some time out to uh, speak with us. And uh, best Good of luck. Appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thanks for having me on, and uh, stay safe.